Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm here with another tutorial. Basically today I'm going to be showing all of you how to build a navigation bar which goes from left to right instead of the traditional right to left. So if you hit this button, it goes to the left and then when you hit this, it goes back in from the right. So let's begin. So first off, I'm going to be showing all of you the, uh, the storyboards. So the first storyboard we have is a navigation controller, a view controller, and another view controller. These are very simple. They just contain basic elements and nothing fancy. So this screen is the navigation controller with basic preset conditions. Uh, then we have the navigation bar with a title and a bar button item right over here. And then you have the same thing with another bar button item. So let's run through the interactions. So this contains a basic root view controller segue. Um, then this button contains an action which takes you to the next screen right over here, which is this. And then we have this. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> so <laughs> we have a class called the fast segue and the fast segue I actually don't know how to pronounce this, so uh, yeah, I have to look into that. <laughs> so this is essentially a um, a drag over here. So actually, I think it's like this. Yeah, so you go like that, and then you would select um, a custom interaction. So you'd go here, select custom, and then you would actually input... Um, you'd actually input the class fast segue. So let's just get rid of that. And um, what that does is essentially unwind when you click when you click this button over here. When you click this button, it unwinds. So it's kind of, it's it's um, so when you click, it performs a normal show action. But when you click that it unwinds it back to this. So it's a pretty smart trick in my opinion. Um, and this doesn't contain any classes. So the only class that you'd need is the fast segue class, which appears here. And I will attach the GitHub link in the description and you can basically download all of these files, just drag and drop them. You'd also need to add the info view controller, which is located here. So all of this code is actually written in C, Objective C, um, but it works very well. And there are other ways you can do this, and I'll definitely be showing it in future videos. I just thought this was a very quick and very simple fix for an application that you'd be building. Um, and if we end up running this, it would work flawlessly. This code is actually from 2014 and it still works very well. And this is just to know if you end up dragging these files, these four files and dropping them onto, onto here, it'll work perfectly fine, but there may be a pop-up which says, do you want to create a bridging header? And you actually do need that or your code won't work properly. All right, so let's take a look at this code and see if it works. So we click that, it goes back, then it reappears. Perfect. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you have any concerns or questions, leave some comments down below, and I'll definitely try to help. All credit goes to the person that actually created these objective C files. Uh, I'll put their link in the description and I'll definitely be coming. I'll definitely, <laughs> I'm still getting used to this entire YouTube thing, I'm getting used to talking, <laughs> but I'll definitely be coming out with some more videos, which addresses this left to right and right to left segue. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace.